muscle with not much more than your own body weight is certainly possible. I'm proof of that in at least my own world. Uh, I've gotten a lot more results from building muscle uh, from uh, calisthenics and, and body weight training than I ever did with weightlifting. Now, it's not to say there's anything wrong with weightlifting because at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. It, weights versus body weight. And so it's not what you use. It's what knowledge and uh, skills you bring to the tools. So it's what you bring to the squat rack or what you bring to the pull-up bar that really matters. That stuff doesn't really do anything to you. It's what you do to it that gets you the results. At the end of the day, building muscle with uh, body weight training is really exactly the same as building it with weights. The rules are exactly the same. The process is exactly the same. The principles of nature, exactly the same. You use the same method progressive resistance, right? You get a certain level of strength, and then you increase resistance, and then you build up your reps, and you increase your resistance, and you just repeat this, and that's how you get bigger and stronger. Now with weights, of course, that's pretty simple and straightforward because you just add or subtract weight. It's pretty simple. With body weight training, how you do this is, of course, with an adjustment of technique. That's what you do. You, your weight is the same, that's you, but you adjust the technique, whereas with weightlifting, your technique is roughly the same and you adjust the weight. Those are the only two differences in variables. It's kind of the yin to the yang. Now, that's why I'm always recommending to people convict conditioning because it's a systematic way to learn how to progress the major exercises in bodyweight training through adjusting your technique to suit your own level so you can continue to build muscle and strength. But a lot of people get caught in what I like to call the calisthenics rut. The calisthenics rut is when your mind gets kind of locked in to doing your exercises the same way. Like this is a standard push-up and you always do push-ups this general way. And it really doesn't matter what routine you're following or what kind of little tricks you throw into how you're doing the exercise. If your technique isn't improving and you're not progressing the attention in your muscles, you're never gonna get very far with this. It's kind of like always bench pressing 135 and never changing that weight. It doesn't matter if you're doing volume training or circuits or supersets or anything like that. It's probably always gonna be about the same result. So that's why it's so important to recognize that your mind might latch on to doing push-ups this way, but over time you wanna think of this as your standard way of doing push-ups, or this is your standard way of doing push-ups, or some other way so that when it's like, okay, time for me to work on my push-ups, you might use this as like a warm-up or something to get you, get you moving, but when you're like, okay, it's time to do push-ups for building strength and muscle, that's your new standard way of doing push-ups, not the classic military way. That's how you get out of this calisthenics rut so you can continue to build more muscle and strength. So just some little food for thought there. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about a key essence in progressing your push-up technique to build bigger chest, shoulders, and triceps. Let me know your thoughts below. Be fit, live free. Hey, thanks for watching my video. You can check out more information on this related video here, or you can go over here to reddeltaproject.com where I've got free articles, more videos, free podcasts, which is where I put all my best stuff, and opt-in free eBooks because I don't need your email address in order to give you really cool stuff. See you over there.